Uh-oh. I think I might have, oops, got to lock the steering. I think I might have just spotted an opportunity to help a fellow rider out here. Somebody's turn signal is on. And they are not at the bike, which leads me to believe two things. Number one, they left their turn signal on. And number two, they may even have left their key in the bike. So let's go investigate. Huh. No, no key in the bike. Can I turn this off? Yes, I can. That is odd. Hope your battery's still got enough charge for a start, buddy. Whosoever you are. In all that excitement, I forgot to apply my disc lock. Let's get that done. Oh, trusty old disc lock. After watching some recent motorcycle theft videos, it has come to my attention that measures such as disc locks and steering locks and even to some extent things like chains and alarms are all more or less useless but uh, I guess it deters the common thief So I actually ran into the dude who owns that green bike that had the blinker left on. He was coming out to his bike just as I was walking into class. And uh, it turns out that he did his own wiring on those uh, signals. Those are some aftermarket signals on there. And the way he wired it up caused it to be so that the signal could be left on even after he turned off the bike and took the key with him, which is kind of crazy. I didn't even know that was possible. And it was interesting, he didn't know that that was the case because uh, if the bike is turned off and you turn the turn signal on, or you try to, it actually wouldn't turn on. Uh, but if you turn the turn signal on and you leave it on when you turn the bike off, it will stay on. So he got trickst. But luckily his battery wasn't dead from having the turn signal on for hours and hours while he was in class. So he was able to start his bike and make his merry way home, or wherever he's going next. And now he knows of his turn signal issue. Man, I've just been doing my part to help other riders lately. Just the other day I saw a bike with a low front tire too, so I left a note on the bike just in case they didn't notice. Just trying to, you know, help people out, help, help other riders out a little bit. On my way to the old Carl's Jr. for a little bit of dinner, gonna get myself a bacon ranch crispy swiss ranch crispy spicy ranch chicken sandwich with some french fries on the side haven't been to cj's in a little while so i'm actually kind of looking forward to that just got a craving for it i guess can i get the bacon ranch crispy swiss ranch crispy spicy ranch chicken sandwich combo as a large okay, oh actually uh never mind i don't want the combo i just want the sandwich okay. and a large fries what the fuck am i doing ordering a combo i can't carry a drink on this thing hi uh, can i get uh, two ranches oh my god spicy chicken is up to a buck fifty end of an era man 99 cent menus rip in peace Damn, partying it up. I got this cramp buster thing on here to help me out on the freeway because I do lots of freeway miles. And I gotta say, it does help a little bit, but it doesn't really stay in place. Like, it starts to slip. I, like, you can't make it slip easily, but over time, vibrations and stuff just cause it to, like, slip down. So you have to keep adjusting it. It's kind of annoying. It's actually not that great. But it does come with a little, uh, like a rubber insert you could put in there to keep it from slipping, so I'll probably stick that in there and see if it helps. Man, this is taking forever. Guess I ordered the wrong thing. Are they killing my chicken from scratch in there, or what? Been here for like 15 minutes. Whirly bird making the rounds. There it is. Thank you. Alright, now I can go home and eat! Thanks for following along everybody, I will catch you in the next one!